Hello YouTube. Today I'd like to show you what I think about when I think of early computing. When I got my start, all the computers were 8-bit, and as soon as you turned them on, there was no operating system to load. They just came right up in basic, and you could start programming. Uh, there'd be a handful of commands uh, for interacting with a disk or tape load, but beyond that, uh, that's pretty much what you had. I mean, it was not multitasking, and... Uh, what I used my computers for a lot back then was to uh, call into a bulletin board system or we called them a BBS. For those of you that are too young to know, a BBS was sort of the internet before the internet. And um, I've been having a lot of fun with this computer. What I just found today and set up is a bulletin board system that runs on CPM called RBBS. So, uh, it's all in basic, by the way. Um, I'll type run and we'll get started. Oops, I guess I gotta start the uh, computer here. All right, there we go. Put in my username. Notice even back then they could mask the password. And for those of you that have never done this before, typically you'd log in with the username and password, and then uh, you're brought into a menu. What you don't see here is, um, and I, I don't have a way to connect this computer to a modem or a telnet session just yet. Um, Back in the day, uh, your computer would be hooked up into a modem. You'd use a terminal program, which would allow for you to dial an outbound connection using your telephone service. Uh, the machine would connect, and uh, and then you'd call up uh, these BBSs, and they were at someone else's house somewhere, hopefully not long distance, because back in the day, uh, long distance was incredibly expensive. In today's world of uh, Skype and uh, you know, voice over IP, uh, there's a lot of uh, long distance plans. A lot of people use their cell phones for their home phone. Uh, it's it's kind of something that might be a little difficult for some viewers to understand, but back in the day, we really had to make sure that we were calling local BBSs or else you could really rack up a crazy high uh, phone bill. So anyways, uh, you dial up and you log in. Um, Hopefully one day I'll be able to implement some sort of telnet modem so we can actually call external bulletin board systems from these Altair uh, micros here. But uh, okay, let's uh, let's use a question mark to get a little bit more detailed of a menu. Bulletin board system was basically um, it started out as a replacement for an actual cork board bulletin board like you might see at the grocery store or at college even to this day. Um, let's see, in this uh, sort of system uh, the bulletin could be much simpler, uh, basically a note from the system operator or a sysop or some people say sysop. The person running the uh, system would post a new bulletin. Sometimes here you'd have a menu of bulletins that you could look at and they'd be like text files, um, documentation on various things. Okay, let's see. What else do we have? Uh, let's try news. Here they could put some more timely information where the bulletins might be uh, something that's uh, supposed to be a little bit more permanent. CO for other message bases. This is another big part of bulletin board systems is you have the ability to uh, leave messages across several different message type uh, areas. So general talk or 
uh, software exchange advertisements. Um, a big one, you don't see it here, but for sale or wanted to buy before the internet, this was a way for a lot of people to trade things. And since most people are calling local bulletin board systems, the things that you'd buy or sell would be to local people. So it was very convenient. Uh, here, let's uh, make sure we're in the general message area. Looks like there's one message. Let's retrieve it. Okay. So obviously, uh, you know, it, it's not as real time as a chat client, you know, or sending an email in today's world. But back in the day, you know, you'd probably call into a BBS once a day and you could have several conversations going on uh, over the course of a few days or even a few months, depending on how often you uh, call the bulletin board and how often the other people that call the bulletin board um, are, you know, updating and reading and sending messages. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's, uh, that's probably a pretty good approximation of what these bulletin boards look like. And like I said, um, I'd really like to um, create the hardware or software to allow um, these uh, real micro micro uh, Altair 880s, um, or in my case, a clone, to uh, connect to uh, other computers using a Telnet modem, and then we can run this software and uh, recreate the whole BBS experience while we're uh, experiencing retro computing. I think personally, it's an exciting new direction that these computers can go. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, little video I put together. Thanks a lot, and uh, we'll see you next time.